please excuse the volume in this video. I had a situation, a technical difficulty. I shot this video two times. Both times the volume was messed up in it. I got that situation handled now. So just a disclaimer. It is finally cool enough to wear long sleeves in Alabama. I remember about a month or so ago, we planted a fall garden. Well, let's go grab some coffee and go check on the fall garden. The fall garden has been a strange one this year. Last year, I had a great fall garden. My greens did well, my collards did well. This year, it's been a hodgepodge. Um, I had something eat a lot of my greens. Then on top of that, I've had chickens get in here twice as of yesterday. I think I got that situation eliminated with um, one of these automatic sprinklers. I set one of these in. And then when something goes in front of it, it sprays. The only downside to it is, is if they come on the back side, then they don't see it. But it seems to be working. They haven't been in here since. This is my mustard greens. Now these were all full until the chickens got in here. And look at my cilantro. Looks good. Nothing. Same exact soil. Same exact seeds. Same exact water. Very strange. Now, this is my red Russian kale. This stuff's the easiest stuff in the world to grow. And you can see it's coming up. The chickens are still got in here and dug a bunch of it up, but it's coming up. Now, my sweet potatoes, that's what was here. I had three plants, and we got a bunch of sweet potatoes off those three plants. I did come back and plant some fava beans since that last video I did of our fall garden. And they're looking great, except over there where the chickens got in there. Killed about half of them. But other than that, they're looking great. Let me go show you all the pumpkins. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with us, we grow Seminole pumpkins. It's an old heirloom variety, and they're an awesome cooking pumpkin. If you've never grown the Seminole pumpkin, I would definitely give it a shot. Now, my pumpkins were looking fabulous, but we got deer getting in here now. The deer eating the tops off all my leaves. And of course, they're taking bites out of the pumpkins. And it's been really frustrating. I've tried several things trying to keep the deer out of here. If y'all have any tips or things that y'all do to keep deer out of your garden, please let me know in the comments below. Right now, this is what I'm doing. I put this this uh, flag in or these prayer flags around the garden. I think it might be working. Plus, they look cool. Now, also... Can you see it squirting right here? I put one of those automatic sprinklers in here too. Thinking this is working though, this and the, and the sprinkler. I think it's working. We've never had a deer problem before until now. I'm kind of thinking it might be something to do with the drought. This is going on close to 50 days since we've had rain. Our pasture looks like a desert. I'm wondering if the drought and a lot of stress on the native plants here and the deer don't have anything to eat. And so they're going into my pumpkin patch. Now we do have more pumpkins. We had a volunteer pumpkin come up in our backyard, spreading like crazy. And there's some that's ready. So let's go pick those and I'll go show you that one in the backyard that just came up. Look at this pumpkin growing in the backyard. We got these pumpkins, they're everywhere back here. And you'll see the great pumpkin with your own eyes. We processed chickens this weekend and we had some, some help and I'd like to give a shout out to her, Victoria Jones. We sure do appreciate your help this past week. But that's what our fall garden's doing right now. We thank y'all. Don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe. And um, y'all have a great day.